Hey, that's all with a quick video, I think. Uh, here's what I think are the biggest problems in patch 9.2 so far. Now, they are few, but they are, they're pretty bad. They're almost objectively bad to the point where it might risk spoiling all the good that's coming in this patch. And there's kind of a lot of good stuff. Like we get a cool new zone that doesn't look depressing. We'll be able to fly in it, at least eventually. There's outdoor progression features that, in my opinion, blow uh, patch 9.0 and 9.1's offerings out the water. There's a ton of transmog, there's toys, there's pets, there's mounts, all that stuff to get. There's more Torghast additions that don't feel required. And there's, you know, the usual raid and dungeon and mythic plus season. And I am looking forward to this patch. However, there are problems. Now I know this is the PTR. I know that there's anywhere between a month and a year until patch 9.2, depending on who you ask, but I'd rather give feedback here now share concerns based on what I see in this build. And so here we go. Uh, we're going to start with wearing two legendaries. This most recent PTR build introduces the new legendary belts that you can simply buy from a rep vendor. You can also buy the memory for said legendary, so you can craft it in any slot. And I mean it, you can make this for any slot outside of trinkets, which is pretty cool. But anyway, here's the thing that I'm griping about. To buy the belt or the memory, you've got to reach revered reputation with the Enlightened, the zone faction in Xerath Mortis. Ouch. Now this flies in the face of previous statements that player power that extends into raids and dungeons and PvP would not need players to work the new zone. Raiders and such, they can almost ignore it. That's kind of the impression that we were left. And, and I was waving that banner a bunch of times that the raiders can raid log and that if you're not interested in the zone, you don't have to visit it. Well, that's out the window, and, and that cascades into more reasons to be upset. Like now we can spread new narratives. We've got to log in every day to get that reputation, or you miss out, you fall behind, you lose your raid spot, and you don't get invited into groups, and your self-worth is put into question. Sure enough, the best raiders on the planet, yeah, they're going to grind at this super hard to get as close to, if not revered, during the race to work first. And as we speak, there are probably people on the PTR right now looking for reputation exploits to not report so they can have some sort of competitive advantage. And in general, people are going to bitch about broken promises and so on. Here's my take, though. I think they're making the same mistake as they did with Torghast, which... If it was, if Torghast was just a playground of violence with cosmetic rewards, it probably would have been better off. However, they decided to put Soul Ash in there, and it made it the only path towards getting legendaries. Xerath Mortis, at the moment, is the only path to your second legendary, and for some, once that goal is achieved, Xerath Mortis is dead to them. So I have multiple suggestions for this one, and you're going to hear them all. One is to just give it to everybody after completing chapter three of the Xerath Mortis questline, which is basically just the introduction. It's the first day of the patch. I don't think that's a big ask. Alts can then get easy access to a belt. Players can craft it in the slots of their choosing right away. No muss, no fuss. Everyone's mostly happy, especially big crafting. Second suggestion is to time gate it. I know it sounds horrifying, but hear me out. At the end of chapter something or other, I don't, I don't know when, the reward that you get is the legendary belt and the memory. So what Blizzard can do, they can time it early so that everyone gets it in time for the race to world first, or time it later so that everyone gets it after the race ends. The whole point is to eliminate the stress of having to hard grind this rep before the race or before whatever. The last suggestion is to lower the rep requirement to honored from revered. The grind, sure, the grind is still there. There's some urgency to meet the requirement, but grumbling aside, it's just way more relaxed. The memory, like other legendary memories, are learned account-wide. So no matter the scenario here, at the very least, we don't have to worry about grinding for this on each and every alt. Let's give credit where it's due. Next, let's talk about the Cypher Research Console. 
Now, I shared my thoughts about how this sucks, having to farm currency and wait for hours, even days for research to complete. I know there's a certain role play to it. Like, okay, so we're researching a new language to deepen our understanding of this new place, this new zone. But the wait time, it just takes the excitement out of gaining whatever the heck perk that I clicked on. And it makes this feature especially alt unfriendly. Progression on the console isn't shared account wide, but to be fair, we've yet to see anything close to that scale be shared across all characters on a WoW account. Where this hits really hard though, is the protoform synthesis feature that's console, that thing that lets you make pets and mounts. From my testing so far in this build, your alts need let, let, let me say this slower. Your alts need to have this protoform synthesis feature unlocked before they can even start seeing materials for this feature for any of its drop. So yes, right now, each alt needs a week's worth of farming and research time just so they can contribute to this currency farm, to this mount and pet creation. And that feels like a bug. And if it's not a bug, that really doesn't feel right. Because what's the point of alts getting a cipher boost if the research still takes a long time? What's the point of account bound resources if alts have to put in a bunch of extra work into being able to collect said resources? Instead of doing all of that stuff, I might as well just do all of the farming on my main character. And I don't think that's the intention. Surely that's not going to make people feel great about all this extra farming. So here are my suggestions. First is to just do away with the research time entirely. It is super, super unnecessary. And the currency farm is honestly pretty grindy already. I don't see any need for additional wait time. Next, let's let these protoform synthesis resources drop right away for all characters. There's no research or whatever needed. It just starts dropping. And I think that would solve most everything with that concern. Uh, alts can contribute to a single character who unlock the feature that one time. And really, you only need one character for this because pets and mounts are account wide. Alts can then focus their cipher farming and research on the more fun stuff that lets their characters feel cool in the zone. I think this is the last one, and this is a kind of a smaller concern, but still tier set drops in raid. They're back. And they're kind of cumbersome because from what we're seeing this build, tier is not gonna be dropping in the form of tokens, they'll be dropping in the form of, well, the gear. So for me, if I'm the lonely paladin in the raid and a tier piece drops for me that I already have, I'm not gonna be able to fork it over to my other plate buddies because, you know, class set gear. Yay, I, I really missed this. So that sucks. Having gear tokens wouldn't be a magic solve. It wouldn't solve this 100%, but it would mitigate this problem just a little bit. So really, that's my imperfect suggestion. Despite that, though, we'll be able to make our own tier out of regular gear we get uh, using the creation catalyst, which isn't testable on the PTR yet. And if worse comes to worse, we could always farm up lower difficulty raids in the hopes of a lucky drop. But that might not be a huge deal in the face of this transmuting of gear. So we have our own kind of sort of bad luck protection already. And for now, that's that's kind of it. Uh, yeah, we can call this build a, a betrayal of promises and a slap against alt unfriendliness or alt friendliness or whatever, but it's just one build. And with it comes my weekly feedback. So I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to let me share with you. Feel free to share your own thoughts and rage in the comment below. Like and subscribe, and I will see you folks for the next thing. And until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.